Happy New Year, Chicago Bears fans. The Chicago Bears have officially locked up the number one pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. This will be only the fourth time in history the Bears have landed that pick, and the first time ever having it in back-to-back -back seasons. The Bears last picked first overall in 1941 and 1947, well before my time. Ryan Poles has managed to completely turn this franchise's fortunes around in just two seasons. The Bears have won five straight home games and improved from three wins last season to seven so far this year. With one game to go, the Bears can knock the Packers out of the playoffs next week in Lambeau in what will be a huge matchup to end the season and kick off 2024. Today is the first Monday without Monday Night Football all year, but thankfully there are college football playoffs to keep us entertained. Even if you haven't watched any college ball all season, the playoffs are the perfect time to start. Two big time matchups tonight with four of the best teams in the country facing off. Nick Saban in Alabama taking on Jim Harbaugh in Michigan, two of the best coaches in the country in what promises to be an awesome game. And then after that, we have two of the nation's best offenses in a game that promises plenty of fireworks as Texas takes on Washington. There are potentially six or seven wide receivers that could be drafted in this game alone, including my second favorite in the class, Romo Dunze. Today, I want to break down who to watch in each game and my favorite prospects in the playoffs. Let's get right into it. First off is the Rose Bowl, kicking off at 5 Eastern, 4 Central, Alabama and Michigan. Two of the best coaches in football squaring off head-to-head, -head, also two of the best defenses in the country. This should be a fun matchup. The winner of this one is probably the favorite to win the national championship. Most people expect Alabama to continue the SEC's domination in the playoffs, but I'm hoping Michigan can upset them. This is the game to watch if you're a fan of centers, though. Both Seth McLaughlin and Drake Nugent from Michigan should be drafted next year. Alabama also has one of the best edge rushers in the draft in Dallas Turner. They have a top tackle prospect in J.C. Latham and potentially the best corner in the country in Kool-Aid McKinstry. There's a ton of talent on Nick Saban's squad. Michigan, meanwhile, has potential first-round pick at quarterback in J.J. McCarthy. I could see him falling in the draft, but I do like his game. Michigan relies heavily on its run game and has two of the nation's top running backs. Similar to how Texas had B. John Robinson and Roshan Johnson last year, Michigan has Blake Corum and Donovan Edwards. I'm not saying they're as good as Texas's combo was, but they both will be drafted and are probably the best one-two punch in the nation. Michigan also has stud defensive tackle Chris Jenkins and safety Rod Moore, two guys to definitely keep an eye on on the defensive side of the ball. We also get to see Jim Harbaugh on the sidelines. Will it be his last game at Michigan? And then moving on to the Sugar Bowl at 845 Eastern, it's Kyler Gordon's alma mater, Washington, taking on the Texas Longhorns. If the first game's defensive slugfest isn't to your liking, this game should excite you as it promises offensive fireworks galore. Two of the nation's best quarterbacks, Michael Panix Jr. and Quinn Ewers, and a ton of quality wide receiver prospects. This game has potentially three wide receivers that have a chance to go in round one, with Washington's Romo Dunze, Texas's Adonai Mitchell, and Xavier Worthy. On top of that, though, Washington has two other very talented receivers in Jalen Polk and Jalen McMillan. This game should be a shootout. The Huskies also have a defensive end I really like too in Braylon Trice. Texas's offense has a ton of talent, starting with Quinn Ewers. They also have Jatavian Sanders at tight end and Xavier Worthy and Adonai Mitchell at wide receiver. And then on defense, you got to watch out for both of their stud defensive tackles, Byron Murphy and Tavondre Sweat. Now I'm going to quickly give you guys my top prospects to watch this year in the college football playoffs today. Number one is Washington's Romo Dunze. 
I'm going to be watching this guy like a hawk tonight. I hope they win. I want to see him in the national championship game too. He's my number two receiver this year behind Marvin Harrison. Number two is Dallas Turner, the edge rusher from Alabama. The Bears need another defensive end, and Turner is definitely an option in the first round. I want to see how he does against Michigan. Number three and four are going to be the Texas wide receiver duo, Adonai Mitchell and Xavier Worthy. Both have the potential to go in round one, and I'm going to be watching both of these guys closely today. And then Braylon Trice is my number five guy. I think he's a sleeper to go in the first round as well. Another defensive end that has a lot of talent. And then on the screen, you'll see my top 10 prospects to watch today. All 10 of these guys are in the two playoff matchups tonight, but there are a couple guys playing right now if you're watching football now. The big one is my other top three receiver, the guy competing with Marvin Harrison Jr. and Romo Dunze. It's LSU's Malik Neighbors. LSU is playing Wisconsin right now. I have that game on and I'm watching it. But LSU has two potential receivers that could go in the first round as well. Brian Thomas Jr. is the less hyped guy, but he's six foot four and has the size the Bears need. He's another guy to keep an eye on today, and he could fall into the second round. Overall, it's a great day for football. We have a ton of draft prospects to check out in two very highly anticipated football matchups tonight. There is no Monday Night Football tonight, so I'll be watching these games closely. Let me know if you guys will be watching and what prospects you like to see tonight. Please remember to hit that like button for me, and until next time, bear down.